Hey guys, Tim Cooper. Got this uh, 2012 Chevy Cruze in here, and it, uh, this particular one doesn't have this code in it, but we have another one in the back that does. It's a P0171 lean code, but there's just another code in, I think it's a P02 something something. Anyway, it's very common the valve cover uh, leaks inside on the PCV system, and you have to replace it with a new upgraded valve cover. This one's leaking oil, but hasn't been replaced, and it had a coolant leak coolant leak on the uh, on this housing right here. So I'm going to tackle both of those and uh, show you how we get it changed. I don't have a camera person, so I hope I can get you some good shots of this. All right, I'm gonna get started. Move the camera up. Straighten out here. All right, let's start with the valve cover right there. We've got these little reverse torques right here. Take these out, we get our coils out of there. Another busy day at the shop. This is your coil pack right here. That's your torque bits. If you ask me what size, it's a T27 or an E27, something like that. Take them out. You have to unplug your coil. Slide the tab back. Unplug your coil pack. Take it up. It's probably leaking internal. No, it wasn't. They look good. Get the coil back out of the way. That should knock your light off. Next. Going around taking all these reverse torques out. They are 10 E10s. some wiring back here. It clips down into those. Pull them back and push your wires back. You got a little tab over here of some more wiring or hose. Get that out of our way. Got some wiring up front right here. And this will slide up. There's some release tabs down inside here. Push those out. get that valve cover out of there. Unless I got something else holding it that I can't see. She just stuck. Oh, there's one. I was lying. That's more better. More better. Okay. I'm going to get it quite loose here somewhere. Oh. We got Infinities and Chevys and Chevy trucks, all kinds of stuff. Well, thank you. Pull um, stick out. There's your old valve cover.
and your gasket. So we got a new updated valve cover from the dealership and that's this one right here. There's your part number. That's what you'll need to order. To get these in and they have an oil leak, you might as well go ahead and change it because you're gonna get those lean codes and that other code I mentioned. If I shoot a video of the other one, maybe I'll, I'll get a picture of the scanner and the codes and show you what they are. We'll just paste it in here for you. My memory not serving me good, so it's got a new gasket on it. Comes with everything but the oil cap right there. All right, I'm just gonna wipe that down. I don't have my hood light today, so I'm using all these LEDs. Get us a nice, decently clean surface right here. There's just dirt on it mostly. Rubber gaskets and some oil, of course. Right in these uh, place where the timing cover meets the valve cover, you're going to want to put a little bit of RBT silk. Silicon going on there, sealer still, still on that. Let me uh, go grab a small tube of that, put that on there. Alright, this spot right here. That is the only spot you'll need that. All right, let's put, well, there we go again. I don't usually wear a hat. Everybody gets to see my crazy hair, so it kind of impairs my vision. You know, blind wearing glasses can't see anyway. But get all these suckers started a little bit by hand. No, you don't need an extension this long, but I'm not running back to my box right now. Funny we got two of these in here the same day. Okay. Oh, he's running in. I'll let torque specs up in a minute. Honestly, stuff like this you don't have to worry about a whole lot, but makes it nice anyway. I'll look torque specs up. I'll look up the uh, the proper uh, tightening sequence. Get you a They're trying to make all the noise they can. They know I'm shooting videos, so they do it every time. It's just what they do. And then, they, then I get angry. I'm like, dang, can't get a clean video because they're always making noise. Imagine that, a shop, right, with noise, and I'm just playing it up. Alright, so I'm going to post the torque specs and everything, but obviously you got to put this back in there and slide it down. Got back in there. With all your wiring 
back connected. There was one that I got to get off the old valve cover. It don't come with that. Plug in your uh, coil pack over here. Lock your tab down. We'll stop right there. We're going to change this water out in a little bit. Next video, if I get a chance to shoot that, I will. So there you have it. Hey, thanks for watching. Let me see if I can get a picture of my mug. So yeah, there you have it, this 2012 Chevy Cruze. Let me see the engine size. Ecotech, uh, are those two twos, or what are they? They're, uh, they're 1.4 liters, okay? So your valve cover gasket. Next one uh, should be the, the water, uh, I think it's an outlet. Thanks for watching, tune in.